Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, I prepared 10 psychiatric nursing exam questions that will help you to refresh some of your knowledge in this particular subject. You have 30 seconds to answer each question, and you can pause if you need to, but try not to exceed for more than one minute. After the 10 questions, I will provide the correct answer and rationale. So get a pen and paper. Let's start. Question number one.
Time's up. If you have difficulty in answering the questions or you want to learn more about this particular subject, you can check this link after this video or in the description below. Let's now check the answer. Question number one. Patient X has a phobia and currently undergoing treatment for her condition. When she is calm, the nurse exposes her to the phobic object in short periods. This type of behavior modification is called aversion therapy is a form of behavior therapy whereby negative reinforcement is used to change behavior. Milieu therapy focuses on positive physical and social environmental manipulation to produce positive change. Self-control therapy is a form of behavior therapy that involves self-monitoring, self-evaluation, goal-setting, behavior contracts, self-reinforcement, and relapse prevention. So the correct answer is C. Systemic desensitization. It is a form of therapy used when the client is introduced to short periods of exposure to the phobic object while in a relaxed state. Exposure is gradually increased until the anxiety or fear of the object or situation has come to an end. Question number two. A patient was admitted with an initial diagnosis of acute blindness. Her physician requested diagnostic tests to further evaluate the condition, but there was no organic reason found associated with her blindness. She stated in the interview that it started when she witnessed a car accident and a family died at the scene. The nurse suspects that the patient may be experiencing. The correct answer is letter B. A conversion disorder is the alteration or loss of a physical function that cannot be explained by any known pathophysiological mechanism. Repression is a coping mechanism in which unacceptable feelings are kept out of awareness. Dissociative disorder is a disruption in integrative functions of memory, consciousness, or identity. While psychosis is a state in which a person's mental capacity to recognize reality, communicate, and relate to others is impaired, interfering with the person's ability to deal with life's demands. Question number three. Nurse Whoops of the psychiatric ward is scheduled to conduct a termination stage of the psychotherapy session. What is her role in this stage of group development? In the termination stage, the group leader's task is to acknowledge the contributions of each member and the experience of the group as a whole. In this stage, the group members prepare for separation and assist each other to prepare for the future. Options B and D are the task under the working stage, while option C falls under the orientation stage. Therefore, the correct answer is letter A. Question number four. Nurse Gamay was assigned to a patient diagnosed with major depression and has a history of attempted suicide. While her nurse gave the medication, she says to the nurse, Everything is not right. I should have died. I'm always a failure. Each of the following is the therapeutic response of the nurse. Restating is a therapeutic communication technique in which the nurse repeats what the patient says to show understanding and to review what was said. Letter A responds using this technique and it directly addresses the patient's feelings and concerns. So the correct answer is letter A. If you want more therapeutic communication questions and discussions, you can check it here or click the link in the description below after this video. Question number five. The patient of Nurse Daku, who was admitted last night, was diagnosed with schizophrenia. The patient has been on medication therapy with clozapine. That's why she checks immediately which lab result 
to monitor the adverse effects from the medication. A patient taking clozapine may experience agronulocytosis, which is monitored by reviewing the results of the white blood cell count. To monitor this, we should know that the normal level of WBC is 5,000 to 10,000, or in some other references, it is 4,500 to 11,000 cells per cubic millimeter. Treatment is interrupted if the white blood cell count decreases to less than 3,000. A granulocytosis could be fatal if undetected and untreated. The other options are not related specifically to the use of this medication. Question number 6. Nurse Storm is planning an appropriate activity for her patient who has bipolar disorder with aggressive social behavior. Which of the following activities would be the most suitable for a patient? To a patient with aggressive behavior, competitive games should be avoided because it can stimulate aggression and increase psychomotor activity. The appropriate activities are solitary activities that require a short attention span with mild physical exertion like writing a journal, walking in the garden with the staff, and painting. These activities minimize stimuli and provide a constructive release of tension. Therefore, the correct answer is letter C. Question number 7. The nurse checks the chart of the new patient that was admitted to the mental health unit. It is noted that the patient is experiencing anxiety from a situational crisis. The nurse determines that this type of crisis could be caused by A situational crisis arises from external rather than internal sources. External situations that could precipitate a crisis include loss or change of a job, the death of a loved one, abortion, change in financial status, divorce, the addition of new family members, pregnancy, and severe illness. Other options are examples of adventitious crisis. An adventitious crisis refers to a crisis of disaster. It is unplanned or accidental. If you learned something or if you like the video, kindly click the like button or subscribe to my channel to keep you updated on our next videos. I appreciate your support. Let's continue. Question number 8. Patient X is currently admitted due to signs of alcohol withdrawal. Which of the following manifestations would alert the nurse as a potential sign of withdrawal delirium? If you know that one of the signs of withdrawal delirium is hypertension, you can already eliminate options B and D. Symptoms associated with withdrawal delirium typically include anxiety, insomnia, anorexia, hypertension, disorientation, hallucinations, changes in the level of consciousness, agitation, fever, and delusions. Therefore, the correct answer is letter C. Question number 9. Nurse Dipsy is reviewing the chart of her new patient admitted to the psychiatric ward. She noticed that the attending physician ordered sertraline. To ensure safe administration of the medication, we must give it. The key words here are to ensure safe administration. Sertraline or Zoloft is an antidepressant medication that is generally administered once a day. It can be administered in the morning or evening, but evening administration is preferred because of its side effect, which is drowsiness. Question number 10. The nurse observes that her patient with schizophrenia and currently receiving an antipsychotic medication is moving her mouth and protruding her tongue. Based on the manifestations and her case, the patient is experiencing the correct answer is letter D. 
Tardive dyskinesia is a reaction that can occur from antipsychotic medication. It is characterized by uncontrollable involuntary movements of the body and extremities, particularly the tongue. Hypertensive crises can occur from the use of monoamine oxidase inhibitors and is characterized by hypertension, occipital headache radiating frontally, neck stiffness and soreness, nausea, and vomiting. Parkinsonism is characterized by tremors, mass-like facies, rigidity, and a shuffling gait. Finally, is the neuroleptic malignant syndrome. It is a potentially fatal syndrome that may occur at any time during therapy with neuroleptic medications. It is characterized by dyspnea, tachycardia, fever, blood pressure changes, increased swelling, loss of bladder control, and skeletal muscle rigidity. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.